Today I want to share with you an improved version of the multi-item sorter developed by Metamilo, Rapscallion1138, and Samus the Sage. I'm going to start off by going over the pros and cons of my system, then go over how to build it. If you just want to get to the tutorial, that starts here. The biggest improvement is that this version works at hopper speed, which is twice as fast as the previous version. It also means that you don't have to slow down items if you want to attach this to an existing hopper line. At the same time, this version is much more stable than previous versions when logging off or leaving the area with another portal. In the previous version, unloading the sorter while it's running often ended up breaking the system until items stopped passing through it. That was caused by a hopper timing issue, and this version forces the timing of every second item. One thing to remember about all sorting systems is to not partially load them while they're running, or you risk item buildup in the unloaded chunk. This version is larger than the previous version. Its dimensions are 3 wide by 8 deep by 7 high, which is 1 block wider and 2 blocks deeper than the previous version. Uh, two things before starting the tutorial. First off, here's the resources needed for each slice. It's a bit hard to tell, those are droppers. Uh, the second thing is about the stack size for the items in your filter chest. The system will work with a stack size of 2. But to make the system as stable as possible, you'll want to use at least a few more. Uh, the reason is that if you unload the system just as the filter item is pulled out, it can end up being sent to the match chest. Personally, I use between 4 and 16 depending on the item's value and how often I expect it to be sorted. So I use like 16 sandstone and I use 4 diamonds. Okay, now for the tutorial going to start with the path that items take through the system. Uh, this hopper here is your input. And the dropper elevator points back into your filter chest. Items that do not match will end up in this chest. and items that do match will end up in that one. Uh, it should be noted, this hopper is this one when chaining multiple of these together. I'm going to take out the comparator signal of this hopper back here. And furnace, just a single item in it. This needs to be a non-solid block. Comparator on subtract mode. A target block with a repeater on top on just a single tick. And redstone dust like that. For the top part, we stair step up, go over, stair step down. Need two more non-solid blocks there and there, and two more comparators there and there. Uh, the comparators need to be reading a signal of six, so any block that can do that is fine. And they are both on subtract mode, and then just redstone dust all along there. For powering the dropper elevator, we watch this piece of dust there. Repeater, single tick. One thing that I've found is very easy to forget is to put that rail there in order to update the droppers. Also, don't forget this repeater, single tick. And 
and that should do it for the dropper elevator. The side piece is a little hard to uh, name, I found. So uh, basically what it does is it's going to lock the input hopper seven out of every eight game ticks. Uh, and what that does is it allows it to go at hopper speed, but we also know exactly when we're going to receive another item. And that piece of dust there uh, fixes the timing issue when it comes to the system breaking on reload. Comparator reading the signal out from a, uh, a hopper a dropper shoots an item into gives a seven game tick pulse. So that's very helpful. This repeater's on four ticks. And then you just have a redstone line going along the back of all that you have in a row. Uh, you can put repeaters here if you need to, if you run out of signal strength. And then just once for an entire row of these, you're going to need a clock at one end. Clock is just a repeater on three ticks, redstone torch, and dust. And if you ever want to turn it off, I usually add a lever there. You can tell things are working correctly when you just see the piece of dust flicker off for just a brief second. So filter items, you're going to need two differently named filter items, uh, 45 for the one for the hopper below here, and you're going to leave the first slot open, and then just one for each slot that you're not going to use in the filter chest, you're going to need the other type of filter item. Uh, we're going to be filtering out redstone dust and redstone torches. And over here is our test chest. So you should see the piece of redstone dust disappear and come back. And that's it. All right, so that's it. I really felt like it'd be wrong to just keep this sorter to myself, but now that I've made one video, I plan on making videos for another, like, five or six things that I have sitting around that I think people might like to see. So, how do I end a video? Oh, right. According to YouTube statistics, only 0% of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you ended up liking this video, consider